So what's up guys? These are videos that I typically don't like to make, but I feel every once in a while I have to. This is one of those videos where typically I would not do it because normally when I irritate somebody over a video that I posted some content that I've done it tends to be it, it tends to be kind of one of those things where I give and take with who I apologize to when a video of mine offends family members that's when I have to say my piece now this of course is in response to my confederate flag conundrum video that I did a few days ago. As you recall I said a lot of things about the confederate flag and just a whole, I said a whole lot of things uh, essentially giving the history of the you know the CSA and everything like that and essentially basically critiquing it for basic you know for the on the basis of well the fact that I personally have those beliefs and those are my views those are my opinions and I gladly stand by them however the way that I came off in the video was very offensive to some people it, um, to my family members personally who um, support who support the Confederate flag. Um, you know, while I may disagree with them on the Confederate flag and all the issues about it, you know, the way that I came off was, you know, inherently arrogant and, you know, bull and kind of bullheadish. So. This video is really me making an apology if I offended my family members and if I offended anybody with that piece, you know, that, that video that I did. It was not my, it, my intention is not to offend anybody. My intention though is to present my opinions and, you know, facts and figures and stuff like that, you know, related to issues that either are not widely talked about or issues that are obviously going to be controversial the confederate flag issue being very controversial now normally i try to take into consideration what it's going to be i obviously knew this was going to have a huge impact in um in the south i knew that there would probably be quite a few angry people uh, from that era from that area of the country probably you know I imagine people from certain states as well having a real big issue with what I said but now while I'm not gonna mention names I'm not gonna mention states or anything like that I will say definitely in the mention that I did not take into consideration that the family members that come from this one particular state I didn't realize we're going to get so so heated. I knew that they had a disagreement over it, but I didn't realize that they would get so heated. And I was informed that apparently there is actually that it's actually a quietly hotly contested debate in this particular state, which I actually find surprising because that I you know I didn't really know. You know I didn't think it would be such a hotly contested thing. I mean, I knew that it would be hotly contested with Southerners, but I didn't know that it would be hotly contested with other people. And so, I mean, and then, you, of course, you, you know, you can, I could blame it on Californian arrogance and stuff like that, because, you know, Californians typically are not very Confederate flag happy, I guess you could say. They're not very Confederate flag prone, supportive, anything like that. Californians, well, not all Californians, but there's quite a lot of Californians that do not support it, That, including my own friends and my own comrades and everybody else they, who don't generally support it. 
So I could blame it on that, but it ultimately what it comes down to is this is my own, I put myself in that own position. I can't let just let my own influences rationalize my behavior. I can't ra let it rationalize my thinking. You know, yes, am I California-centric? Am I arrogant? Am I, you know, ignorant even in some places? Yes. And those are all traits that I both work on and admit to and that I, I guess, using it lightly, I wear with pride. I wear it on my sleeve because I really do have to Kind of, th those are things that c they can be okay in certain situations, but there's actually certain situations where they really should be left to the back burner. I guess what I'm really trying to say is that I'm I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Again, the video is not meant to offend. It was meant to exercise my opinion, and it was used, and it was a video that was meant to draw debate basically that that was the main that, that's the intention of most of the videos that I produce is to draw debate draw discussion you know all things like that you know it was it meant to lecture I guess in some areas but most of all it was just it, it was meant to be a piece of a, a piece of political I don't know where I'm trying to get with this. I, it was just—it was basically a video that I felt needed to be said, since it was a very popular thing that was going on. That was hotly contested on both sides. I weighed in on the on the issue, and unfortunately, it ruffled the feathers of people of people close to me. And again, I, I apologize all for that. The, again, the intent of my videos is to present debate and stuff like that. And a lot of these videos that I go into, yes, the issues can be hotly contested and controversial. Some of them are all, can also be things that aren't widely talked about or things that aren't really, you know, ex totally explained and stuff like that. And so I felt it was necessary to, you know, be, you know give my honest opinion of what I thought about it. Now, the video for obviously for obvious reasons is going to, it's going to stay up it, it, for archival reasons, everything like that, because very rarely actually do I remove a video because you know, I, I, I unless of course I get flagged by YouTube or something like that, but the point is, is that I, the video that I did, I normally would, I, I nor, normally don't usually do these videos, but considering the review that I looked back on, I was kind of arrogant and conceited in some of the things that I said, and looking back at the blog, I probably could have actually you know, done a little bit of a better job in trying to keep any sort of unprofessional language out of it. I probably should have actually just left it more towards the I, my interpretations of history and everything else and left it at that, and my opinions and all that, and just left everything else out of it. But I let, obviously, personal feelings and the influences that surround me in, you know, I let that make be the judge of my my writings and my and what I posted. So I just wanted to say to those that I did offend, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I know that we have disagreements on this, but that to offend you was not my prerogative. So I hope that those that that, that did see the video and that were offended know that I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be an ass about the whole situation, 
I just was trying to give my two cents. You know, it's and to those that did that, that did like the video, good. You know, whatever. But you know, it still doesn't take into take away the fact that I was I I was bold. <laughs> In, in the words that I've used, been using recently, bold, egotistical, and arrogant is definitely how I acted in that video. Bold, egotistical, and arrogant was how it was written, and I it's something that I do have to work on. So, yeah, once again, my apologies to those that I offended, to my audience, to anybody that watched the video you know I'm you know I just really am sorry if it offended because again that's not my intent but sometimes things just sometimes things just kind of get away from me and I get on a high horse that I should have never gotten on in the first place. So, yeah. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace.